up, cute boy? Hello. Greetings. Greetings. Greetings, summoners. You good? Yeah, my mic was all fucked up. Would you be willing to get a gunpoint tattoo? On my ass. On your cheek? I mean, yeah. For sure. On the ass, though? No. But I would. I would. Face, face tat? No. <laughs> Just a little like you know no, target. Like no, I, a little I look, target. I look mad. GP dumb. above GP above your eyebrow. No, <laughs> I, if I wait, hold up. Let me ask differently. If you'd have to get a tattoo on your face, yeah, where would you place it? On my face. On your face. Damn. Where Where do you place it? Why not I th- here? I think. Nah. That's mad weird, though. <laughs> that is mad. Oh, that is... Like under your mouth. On your nose. I mean, I'd probably get it next to my eye. Really? Yeah, yeah somewhere over here. Mm. Mm. I don't know. Yeah. Like a little gunpoint tattoo in my hair. I would go I would go maybe above the eyebrow. You know, right here. Yo, the, there was this there was this young guy that I that I've that I've seen that I've met. It was like three years ago, hmm. and uh, I was just walking into a food locker, and uh, he was there with his family, with his mom, and his probably his little sister. Hmm. And uh, I swear that boy was tops sixteen. Yeah, motherfucker, <laughs> he had like seven face hats. I. S- swear like he had seven <laughs> face tats and, and and the and the tasks were stupid it was like love wow peace oh then he had the flower over here and he what? had something a, a I, flower I couldn't I couldn't, a, I couldn't read what was on his uh cheeks i got a read. flower in the middle of his yeah, face yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and the rest fruity. i don't remember i just it was just some whatever that was but yeah he, he his whole face was <laughs> His face is a piece of art. Yeah, and he, so. and he was sixteen tops. Or uh, what? Yeah, he was. He looked sixteen. Or even if he was older, even if he, if he was like I don't know eighteen. Still. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I think it it doesn't even matter what age he was. What the fuck? But it was just weird seeing him trying to be a thug and everything, and then you see his mother, and it's a. Basically, it's a normal blonde soccer mom. Yeah, like mm-hmm. a normal mom. His sister is just a little girl. You know, they 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 looked like they living good. The suburban family. Yeah, yeah. and he has face ties. I'm like, why? What? Why? You I swear, tra- I swear, what? it's that rap music. Like, like mm-hmm. I, I swear, like, why? Why do people try to act gangster? Like, why? Makes no sense. Like. I don't know. Is it so cool to be like struggling? Like, <laughs> just be glad that you had a good upbringing. I don't know. Like, damn. Yeah, I mean, I mean I, it, it it depends on the environment you grew up in. But I mean, I mean, when you grow up alongside with gangsters and everything, they don't really view it as respectful. When you grow up in like the suburban families, like you had both of your parents and everything, everything was cool. You yeah. know, you had fucking, but, yeah, you know, and, and then you build, try to build. act like, yeah, yeah, because you're trying to rebel out, I guess. You try to but. act like you had like the same struggle growing up when it's just fake. Yeah, and then he's saying, uh, yeah. I came up from you nothing. Know, there was this uh, controversy right now, like recently, uh, between uh, NBA star Jam uh, Morant. Morant and Shannon Sharp. Oh, yeah. Where, okay. Sha- uh, yeah, where Jam uh, Morant was uh, acting gangster. And uh, uh, Shannon Sharp told him that he's, you're not about... He's, he's not hard. Yeah, that he's not about this life, that he went to a private school. That he should stop because, uh, trying to act gangster. Yeah, because some friends of um, some friends of Jaws, like before the match or after the match, I think after, after their match, his friends like got into a truck and they... They pulled up right alongside the bus of the opposite team and they got out and started yelling like some gangster shit towards the staff and you know the the like, people on the, the hell? They, I I don't know why. I don't know why. And he was 
And Ja was like claiming it, rapping like gangster lyrics and everything. He was just trying to be tough. And Shannon on, like he was talking to Skip about it. And he was uh, he was basically saying that he's trying to he's trying to look like he lives like someone who would give everything to be in his position. Exactly. How uh, like why is he claiming that nobody in the league looks at Ja and he's like and, and they're like yo he's a he's a thug, yeah. Oh. Like he's about that life. Like no, you know. Like, not at all. And then, but but and, it's and, not a shame. Like, it, no, it, it, no. it's perfectly fine. Dude, but. you have hundreds of millions of dollars worth in deals and everything, and you're trying to prove to people that you're tough. You're not like, in the why? same league as those people. Yeah, why? Mm. It, it like it doesn't it doesn't make but sense. Jeopard, just jeopardizing. Yeah, but at the same time, you know, if we're if if we give an example of a young kid that uh, you know, suburban family, he's yeah. living pretty well and everything. At the same time. I think it's not like he doesn't struggle, right? Like he probably struggles, but the struggle is just different. Oh, in his own way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, he, trying yeah, to act his, out his, his real his real name is Demetrius. That's the struggle. Yeah, like <laughs> I mean, yeah, but <laughs> yeah, but uh, as well, you know, people that come from let's say families that don't have that kind of money or the same opportunities. It's just, you know, at this, I I get it why they do it, you know why they're always like they seem hurt that you know somebody came from a good family from a better family had a better better upbringing or whatever, or better opportunities. I yeah. get why you'd be a little salty like it's not fair, but that's just how life is. And on the other hand, usually you know when there's a family that is rich. It's pretty tough on the children because uh, you already have the expect you are, you already have a lot of expectations because uh, you know your dad was yep. this and that yep. and you're his son. That's a good point. You should be the same. Yeah, but like so the struggle is just uh, different, you know. Yeah, it's very different. But I also understand why like the people that uh, quote unquote are from the mud are mad when people who uh, had all these opportunities growing up claim to uh uh be from the cir same circumstances uh yeah. they're in yeah and not acknowledge that they had and not acknowledge that they had some kind of advantage mm. yeah mm. Yeah, yeah 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 because uh, because they're claiming they go through the same stuff but yeah. they don't really put into consideration that they had the jump start exactly for sure with the with the finances with the i don't know education that if they decided to drop out that's a different thing but you still had the opportunity to go there yeah because like um i imagine uh, like i i'm not i'm i'm not from uh, a extra i don't know poor family or anything but mm -hmm. i i've uh, i've seen i've seen a lot of uh, people that actually are And it's like a hundred times, it's a hundred times uh, harder hmm. to uh, be, I don't know, to, to become, to become uh, average in society when you started below average. Hmm. Then if you started uh, from a family that's above average, it's easy to be average. Yeah. Well, of me? course, because you're, you you can become average by not doing yeah. anything. Yeah, because yeah. like, yeah, kind of uh, exactly, slowly. exactly, because yeah. like. Because like you know like when you when you come from a, like I don't know messed up unstable background uh, poor whatever so everything everything you just see everything around you is dysfunctional mm -hmm -hmm. plus even like the schools that you go to and the people that you meet all of them are like dysfunctional yeah so to you so, it's just so, normal yeah, yeah so for you so that's the norm for you so to you for you to get out of this is like a hundred times harder because. Yeah. Already from the jump, you got you yeah. get the uh, wrong uh, 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 role models, and you get yeah. the sort of you start off on the wrong foot, yeah. and it's, you have to relearn everything oh, again. And and it does make sense when like the person that comes from the well from from the good upbringing, and the person that had the exact opposite when they meet in the middle, yeah, and they're both claiming that they're at that level by their own, yeah, you know, initiative. Then the person that comes from nothing is like. Bro, what? <laughs> yeah. You just 
you, you were just slacking off and now you just kind of you got kicked out of your house and you found a job and you're so independent now yeah dude i had to change my whole mindset yeah. and abandon everything it, i knew to get yeah. here yeah i can't even uh, and and the worst thing is like if you're like from the mud so sort of quote yeah, quote yeah. unquote you have to actually leave a lot of like most of the people 90 percent of the people that you that that were around you at that time you yeah. have to leave them behind because the the mindset their mindset is dragging you down yeah because so you yeah. have to start yeah. like because yeah. their ambition but, is not the same yeah. direction that you or that yours is i just want to share a little thought because uh when we were in paris before new year's basically uh we had a similar conversation we were just uh you know, we were just walking and sightseeing and everything. Mm. And uh, we see these people that were selling corn on the streets or whatever else, some peanuts or whatever. And, uh, you know, the, the, it was just, it was looking crazy. I'm not mm -hmm. going to lie. Like, mm -hmm. the corn was looking crazy. Like, I looked at it. I don't know if it's healthy, my guy. Yeah. And uh, he was selling it in, in front of a shop, Dior. And I'm like, whoa! And, and you see, yeah, you yeah. see so many, you know, rich-looking people in front of Dior waiting to get in, and then, like, ten meters away, you have this guy that is trying to sell corn just to get by mm. that day. And I'm like, you know, people say some people say, you know, the motivational speakers they say it don't matter where you're born, where you're from, blah blah blah. But I mean. For example, if you'd be the, uh, uh, no this is, I mean, no disrespect, but if you'd be born to this guy that is selling corn, okay, you kind of grow up, but then you just there selling corn, and that's all you see. Mm. All, all your life, you don't have a different option. All, you grow up, you gotta, you gotta try and make make a dollar, make a, you know, make some money so mm. that you and your family can eat. And that's all you see. So yeah. uh, it's not like, okay, uh, let me try some new things. Let me learn something new. And to learn, to have that space to learn something new, you need a good environment. And people that will, you know, in the meanwhile that you're learning or trying something new that is risky, you need to have some people that actually take care of you in case you fail yeah which the parents that are very they can, poor cannot they, they do cannot do that yep. it's, it's very true that when you come from poor upbringing it takes an exceptional mindset and dedication to break the cycle because your parents yep. basically just teach you what they know yep. and if what they know is basically as you said selling this corn on the street then you're probably most probably going to end up selling corn too because that's yep. all your parents know. Yep. And it's it takes so much of your like effort and energy and actually like it's 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 mind blowing what it, it takes is. to break the cycle and actually like get out. Yeah. It is. It is. It is cuz uh, I'm just just stuff like to learn something new like uh uh us as uh, like uh, us as we're, I'd say we're pretty like we we weren't born in uh, circumstances like this. I'd say we're fairly privileged. They're more privileged. Sure. We're, they're more privileged people than than we are. But there's also but, some things that we uh, don't take to an account a lot oh, of yeah. times. For example, for example, you're like uh, peop some people will say, yeah, just learn something else, learn a skill like. Uh, graphic design or programming and you'll be good for life but like the fact like even learning stuff like that learning programming graphic design or a skill like that it takes years of time and you need resources mm -hmm. you need to go to a school that specializes in this that has the computers the technology the money uh uh to to hire the teachers the experts yep. that can like actually teach this stuff to you and uh and uh all the equipment necessary yeah and to go to this school you need what you need some amount of privilege or you have to be just very lucky lucky one of the on the of the top percent yeah a uh, top percent guy if you're in these circumstances but mm. but it's quite funny that even like when you're average but your parents 
got the means to send you there you can learn all this stuff but uh, when you're when uh, your family is poor or uh, like below average in finances for you to learn this stuff you have to be exceptional yeah true true uh, or true. or do it by yourself which is which is tough which is yeah. extremely tough because but, like but but for for some it works like uh you know I, I, we know a lot of people that are self-taught photographers graphic oh, yeah. designers <laughs> podcasters blah 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 yeah blah, but blah, it's blah. also it's also like it's the same I, i'd say it's almost the same thing with being self-taught like if you have no money to for example buy a computer or buy a camera to be a photographer or be like a uh, mm. video editor true you you, 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 fuck. you you won't do anything if you just have corn in your hand yeah like yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and you know yeah, how, yeah. how much money can you save yeah. from uh selling corn yeah if if you're actually yeah. making the money to if you just live from day to day bar yeah. barely eat every yeah. day you're not thinking about this camera no, and shit no you know? no you so. just because for you the circumstances are different but for us let's say it's uh the question is okay i could be making more or less money yep but you know that you will be okay mm. yep mm. for them yeah one way or another yeah. it's life the, mm. I, i'd say the, the difference is in uh the stakes yeah because for us it's just the amount of money mm -hmm. if if i do more i'll get more if i do less i'll get less but i'll be okay yeah but but the for them it's the really life yeah and the, the consequences are on me it's gonna affect me and you know it's just like well if i make more then you know i'll be happier If I make less, then well, I'll be all right. It's just it's just what happened. But those people, if they make less, yeah, you're gonna fucking suffer like yeah. Yeah. physically. Yeah. When you make more, you're like, oh, thank God. And the next yeah. day, it's right so, back to what. Yeah, yeah that's uh, that's that's the problem. And then like that's why like a lot of people like this they get caught caught up in this these like um, get rich quick schemes. Of course, because they the, the, they need the easy. money quickly, yeah. right? And they already don't have anything to lose, yeah. so they're like, yeah, they're easy. The they're easy to sell to, and oh, what, what, sell the dreams to. And what's the worst thing that's gonna happen? I'm not gonna make the money. Dude. I mean, uh, yeah, but still, imagine you have this kind of job and uh, you saving uh, no five hundred dollars for boo, mm. and then uh, somebody comes and he just sells you this uh, fake dream. And, Oop. You put your hardly saved dollars into it, and uh, boom, 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 boom. Yeah, yeah. Buy my product, you will get rich. You want, you want your dream car? Do you want freedom? All you need to do is pay me that five hundred. So uh, yeah, and I'll, then I'll, you can start. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And if it's not right. working well, then you're not yeah, good but at this job. You know that that I would also say is an issue with even in general in with young people. A lot of young people what i've noticed is that they think you know right now with the internet and everything mm. uh and you see all these stories that people can get famous and rich pretty quick and they kind of fall into that a lot of my friends fell into that that oh there's this business over here i can get hella rich in uh six months mm. and it's not too much work First of all, that does not make any sense. Yeah, the yep. it, it yeah. makes no sense. It makes no sense. You, yep. No, that's mm. a scam. Anytime uh, you hear get get rich quickly, it's fake. I'm sorry. Like and do it from your own home. Work 15 minutes a day and make three thousand dollars a day. Come on, bro. What am I doing? If, if that was true, wouldn't everybody? Be everybody doing? would. It's it's fake, bro. Like even that maybe. You will be working 15 minutes a day after you put 20 years into it. Mm. That is mm. sure that is possible. That is true. Mm -hmm. But in those 20 years, you you are gonna going to work your ass off, sleepless nights, early mornings. Mm. That's what it's gonna be. Like people, pe some 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 young people get caught up in this weird dream yeah. that, uh, of course, I guess if you're privileged, pretty much fairly privileged. You have that choice. Mm. You can at least make a choice if you want to have a, I don't know, if you want to try and become a YouTuber. 
mm. or just a worker or whatever else we have that choice mm. which i'm thankful for of course but then it's really just yeah. work your ass off yeah at yeah. one point i mean i do understand why the young people i mean who doesn't want to get rich quick of course but it, it doesn't it never works that way if you want to get rich it usually is not quick if you're not exceptionally lucky and it always takes work it always takes some form of effort and you, you can't be working 15 minutes a day and then expect and, to be and, earning hundreds of and, thousands and at the same time if you made three thousand dollars in 15 minutes would you value the money because i sure wouldn't i get three thousand dollars in 15 minutes out of nowhere dog i'm buying hella shoes i'm buying t-shirts we're going uh, we're going on vacay stuff. yeah like that's... oh dude if, if i can make three thousand in 15 minutes then i'm working three hours a day yep and dude and that's it i'm buying my own island mm -hmm. in two months yeah but mm -hmm. but the point is you wouldn't the value would not be the same it wouldn't be the same i mean i would value the money maybe some people then value the money above everything else but spending it is nothing you know uh, i heard I mean, yeah also when it comes to money i heard something there's like the, the there's like the law of with the law of diminishing returns that like even even if you even if you uh earn more and more and more and more at, at at some point at some point there's like a threshold and if you earn like more than that your your life will not change so like rich mm. people because like rich rich people who earn this type of money three thousand dollars uh in 15 minutes they're, they're just rich they they don't care like at one point at, at one point if you have a net worth of uh, 300 million dollars mm. or a net worth on of 500 million dollars even though the difference is 200 million dollars yeah. you don't feel it yeah you don't feel any richer because you're already yeah you you're gone you made it you're behind the scale yep and that's that's the that's what they call the fuck you money yep when you really don't care what anybody has to offer Fuck you money yeah, yeah that's yeah <laughs> that's what they that's what they really call because you can yeah. you can go no when somebody offers you something you can easily go fuck you yep because it doesn't doesn't affect your money in any way like you're you're still getting the money you still have the assets you still have these incomes and everything so you you can choose what you feel like doing and that's 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 the definition of the of the fuck you mm -hmm. money i guess but which is which, which is i believe that is a lot of power but at the same time damn yeah it, it gotta be tiring oh it's gotta it's gotta and, and building something like that is you know immense work so true 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 let's start the episode yeah oh yeah yes, oh sir. damn yeah oh we didn't even start <laughs> nope no oh. no i just let it roll <laughs> yeah but this is the seventh episode of gunpoint international Happy to have you here. I'm Numero Sidon. Hi, guys. Yes, hey. Sir. Hello. You better not do that ever. It's a little baby. Hey. It's a little baby it's here. It's a little baby here. <laughs> Hosting <laughs> SNL. Yeah, the first topic is JK Rowling is about to be canceled. What is like, that about? I was like, again? No. Was, wasn't she canceled like two years ago? Uh, yeah. How many times can but, you be canceled? But, you know, the <laughs> <laughs> facts. For real. Facts. But, but now the new Harry Potter game came out. Um, PS5 that and everything. Looks fantastic. It's, it's pretty cool. Uh, what I've uh, I saw some reviews about the game, and the the only problem that I've noticed is sometimes the graphics don't really add up. That there's people walking through each other and everything. Oh, which I, is yeah. which they which which actually I'll, that I'll, is a I'll, problem. I'll, I'll, I'll play it tonight. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, I bought it, but I haven't downloaded it yet. I'll play oh. it tonight. Yeah. Yeah, I was just about to say I want to I want to buy it to, yeah. for the studio. Can do. Yeah. But the game they they said the game is fine, just the graphics sometimes are I not see. very good. And uh, you know, when you have characters walking through each other like at this time and age. Uh, I mean, and it's yeah. a pretty big game, so that brings the game down a lot. I mean, it was being developed for a long time. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah, so that is. What like, about the rolling though? But what happened is uh, 
um when it first released you know of course streamers were playing the game because it was so anticipated right and it had about 1.3 million viewers which Oof. was crazy Oof. but the problem with that count was that a lot of those people were actually haters that are tried to cancel all the streamers that that were playing the game because, because of what she did back then yes because uh jk rowling is uh supporting uh, i don't know what the organization is called but she's at turf yeah turf turf and right. it's uh, you know what those are we discussed it it's yeah it's fucking... it's it's basically uh a organization mostly consistent of uh women yeah that, that feminists. Just, what just, is, what, feminists yeah but what is the fucking something extremist no the no. radical no they, they're feminists that believe that uh trans, trans women. women are not real women yeah yeah i know i know but you know the the the, the Yo, the, the what it stands for yeah the, the, the acronym is for something extremist radical feminist I don't know. Try to Google it, but it's, it's T E R F, right? Yeah, I, I think it's trans exclusionary r radical feminist. Turf. Probably, probably trans exclusionary radical feminist. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, like, but uh, yeah, they they're trying to cancel her for it. And the funny thing is, she had nothing to do to do with the game. She's only getting her royalties yeah. from the game, but she had nothing to do yeah, with I'm the like, development and everything. Look, and they're they're trying to cancel all the streamers. I, I look, all the streamers look, that played. I, I get, I get, I probably get why they want to cancel J.K. Rowling, but just to go after like her stuff, like at the end of the day, look, she already created Harry Potter. And uh, everything, anything, and Harry Potter will make money until the end of time. J.K. Rowling is rich for life, no matter what anybody says. She is set for life. She, she, is she has gone. fuck you money. Yes, yeah. she has fuck you money. She does not care. She's like, I think she's almost a billionaire at this point. I think so. Yeah, so she does not care. She can give zero fucks and say whatever she wants. She is gone money in the pocket yeah you cannot really other thing her, is do you uh, like what is this logic so like just because okay the idea came out of her head you're trying to cancel uh all this uh all the all these people that have nothing to do with it they even wanted to cancel like the developers of this game i'm like they, they're just <laughs> working bro it's just his job just leave them yeah. alone like yeah. this is the same thing like you do they do they realize like nike has sweatshops but you still buy air forces right because you like them it's the same thing you don't have to like jk rowling to like harry potter if you like harry potter it's cool to like harry potter it doesn't mean you have to agree with everything like the, uh, say. the author is saying that does not make any sense no, nope. I don't agree with everything anyone is saying. Yeah, like obviously. Yeah, but I mean, there's no, uh, right. there's no connection between the stuff that she said about the, the the topic about trans people and Harry Potter. Exactly. There's no like transphobic stuff inside of the. No, uh, actually, the saga. Look, look, actually, I, I don't. Very, no, no, it's actually, it's, it's progressive. It's the, yes, it's the opposite. You can even have the, uh, a car. I think the characters over there are not even specified. By yeah, they're gender neutral. Yeah. Wait, wait, where in the game or? Yeah, in the game. Yeah, I'm talking about like Harry Potter in general. Yeah, no, like no, you know the none, movies, the books. None. It's it, there's nothing about none, none. some trans exclusionary stuff. Look, so going after the franchise is stupid. I understand that they want to go after her, but then they created the move the the game based off of what she created way back when. Yep. So canceling that now makes and I mean canceling people that are actually just. Playing, playing the, the game, game having a, fun. That is crazy. So is she actually cancelled again or is it still no, like... No, she's the, not cancelled. No, she cannot it's be like, cancelled. It's like the same thing coming back. Again. As far as I know, she didn't even respond to it. Because why I would think, she? I think she's like... Yeah, she's just getting her cash and yeah. laughing. Oh my I God. think she'll, and actually, just, those, she'll just talk, go on and talk about it. But those haters are making money to all of them. The streamers yeah, by yeah. fucking going there, commenting, yeah. watching, yeah. spreading. They're, they're marketing the game and J.K. Rowling. Yep. Yep. The, Willingly. Which is, which is, which is uh, when I even go back to, to our Twitter. 
for example. Yeah. It's what haters don't realize. Yeah. You think you're doing something by hating, you're actually helping the cause. Yeah, as a like, lot of a lot of people didn't even know like the the game was coming out, but thanks thanks to these haters, they like now they know. You know, petty people like me, I I was like, yeah, they don't like it. Damn, that let, must be great. Let me buy it real quick. Yeah, and you I know, bought it. You know, this, this, uh, let me let me. <laughs> it's let, gotta be a fire game. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Let me just tell this story because it, it it doesn't. It's a whole different story, but. A few years back, one of my friends, one of our good friend, actually, he uh, his mom owns um, a shop with um, how do you call it? Uh, uh, strollers. Uh, strollers. Thank you. Uh, she dude, owns a I shop. Got, I got all that from yeah. this. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> dude. <laughs> strollers. And um, there was a Czech TV show, and uh, there was the story that there was this dude that bought a stroller from her, from her shop and whatever and the baby seat for a car yeah and then they had a they had an accident and this the baby whatever it was hurt or whatever yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and uh, then this tv show they found the man and they were like oh where did you buy it blah 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 and they went a whole tv show they entered her shop and they were like, this is where you bought it? Oh, so people don't buy anything from this shop because the baby got hurt in an accident. It's not safe. You know, the security is not is, is not good, blah, blah, blah. And she was like, oh, my God, hmm. my business is done. It's, yeah. they, they fucked it up. They fucked it up. Uh-huh best sales of of, 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 of of like ever of course She's, that month she sold the most strollers ever <laughs> the most i was just like those petty people i'm like and, yeah, and it's coverage yeah and she 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 cried that night when the tv came through she was she was you know of course and then uh, the next day people started coming in is it this shop that was on the tv she was like embarrassed yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. and they were like oh do you have some strollers I'm trying to buy some. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Yo. I'm trying to kill my kid. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sick of the little bastard. Yo, give me the least yeah. safe one. Yeah. Yo, give me- <laughs> <laughs> Let's go on the rodeo, boy. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, and, and that's what I'm saying. Like, sometimes haters are the biggest blessing. Yeah. Because that's when people will be like, like oh. It's what it's what emotion. I, it, it's what I put on my story today. That that boondocks uh, with that boondocks song. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 I, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I recognize yeah. Regina Hall right away. Yeah, I was yeah, like, oh, yeah. I, I I can't wait for them to hate. If they not hated, you're doing mm. something wrong. Yeah, dude, boondocks boondocks gave out like game. Yeah, like they were giving a lot of, they were giving out it. game and people it it just went over their heads. And when you watch the clips now. You're like, oh, there's so much truth in it, and and the show, the but, shows were so funny. Like, yeah. I mean, I mean, that shit would get canceled so fast, so fast. How nowadays. how they said how how he was saying. Uh, I wish they never rebooted it again because they would ruin it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Just yeah. leave. Hopefully, it. it's Cause, a gem. Because if you try to you know go by today's rules, you can't. They wouldn't even be able to make twenty percent of the show. No. Honestly, no way, dude. The the only people that actually managed to do that is like South Park and uh, Family Guy. Yep. Yeah, that they touch on the modern subjects, but still being so like borderline offensive, but truthful at the same time. But they're like uh, uh, revealing how how hypocritical the society is. Yeah, like South Park. South Park had a had an episode where the fucking the little turd with the Christmas hat on. I don't know what uh. was the character. It's a fucking... I don't know. But he was just... The episode was basically about... He he had some uh, some meds, some, some prescription. And when he was taking the meds, he was like losing consciousness and tweeting stuff that was like racist and offensive and everything. Mm-hmm. And, and then when they were like confronting him about it, he was like... Oh no, they were my Mets talking, which was <laughs> basically the celebrities that were tweaking some sh- tweeting some offensive racist shit and then they were like, "Oh no, I'm sorry. I'm on these new meds. It wasn't me. <laughs> I wasn't really conscious." And they and they literally like canceled the turd. Hmm. In the show they just canceled him. They 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 ran him from the they ran him from the town and everything. So they they <laughs> they reveal these like how 
how how just stupid stuff is in today's yeah. society. But I think the Boondocks was just too. Um, it, it was just extreme. too raw. Nah, bo- boon- just too boondocks, raw. Boondocks were too nah, crazy. It, it, no, no, because the problem with boonda- Boondocks is uh, it's too, it's way too close to reality. So, like, they also, like, the characters that are there are actual, like, they are made from actual people that exist. Oh, like un- Uncle Rufus and everything? Not Uncle Rufus specifically, but when they have, like, some characters, yeah. it's always based on, like, real-life events. Yeah. Oh. So, oh, like, you know, they you had... Know, you know that one? Um, you, we can do this the easy way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, the have, pimp? Yeah, that, that is <laughs> real. Really? Not, not the not the pimp. It was a prisoner. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, and gotcha. uh, they they even made like the whole you know like the R. Kelly trial. Oh yeah. I, it, it was like. <laughs> but then, but then they were like watching the TV and they're like, "He's gay, isn't he?" Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. And I was his biggest fan, so that makes me gay. <laughs> He's like, "Yep," and then he just starts to cry, dude. I, I laughed my ass off. <laughs> He's like, yep. I, I, "The grandpa starts hugging him." I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was too much. That was but, like, come on, it's, man. It's true. Let's laugh about it. Uh, He's is gay, it, is ain't it, he? <laughs> that ain't deep. It's funny. <laughs> it is funny. It's not really like offensive, but. To, to to the um, you know Western society it is nowadays, yes. which is which is sad. That's why I always think these people that get offended from jokes like these, mm. yeah. And uh, 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 how do they even crack jokes? Yeah, and they uh, don't. They're not uh, funny people. And Uncle War- uh, and Uncle Rockers is uh, is actually a real caricature of uh, how some black people act towards other black people. Because they really are mm. some black people who mm. that genuinely hate everything black. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> they do exist. Yeah, yeah. That is true. So like that's that's and like that, a parody of and that. That is so goofy. That is yeah. so goofy. Yeah, that's. A par- I, I've, I've I've actually met two people like that here in Prague. Oh. Yeah, yeah, and that was just weird. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Because because I'm like you know there's not many of of of. of, of black people over here and i just you know i don't have to be a friend i don't even want to be a friend just because you're black but you know i see you if anything goes down mm. because of you being black yeah i'm here too mm-hmm. you know we together in yeah. a way and when there was this dude i just say hi and he looks at me like you could just tell yeah was that uncle ruckus mm. yeah he he was nah nah, nah. God damn nah. <laughs> who let these uh, black people yeah I'm so sad that I just cannot quote shit from that show yep. yeah. I just can't it's too dangerous for me but but I, when I know about it and I talk to somebody that's you know talking and I know about the show and the and the and the scenes people are like Mo oh you know your shit I'm like yeah I've been watching. So it's it's uh, dude. So, so you've oh, been watching, huh? I've been I've, I've been watching Boondocks. Yeah, yeah. yeah they're great. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Also, uh, but at first I had no idea that what are the two two boys characters' names? Riley and Huey. Riley and Huey. Regina Hall. Yeah, she. Both of them. Both of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is wild. So basically, in the recording studio, she was talking to herself a lot of yeah, times. Yes, she was, and she was <laughs> switching between the characters like. Like back to back when they had like a dialogue, and that is dope. But there's this one thing about uh, see here in the Czech Republic, mm. you know the dabbing and everything that they do. Uh, you know when they have uh, black characters in it, it's crazy, bro. Cause uh, you know you have this, for example, Space Jam Two. Yeah, uh, I just went and watched the the check trailer Ew. and um there was you know you know lebron james is a big dude deep voice and everything it, and uh <laughs> you can just tell that it's a it's a small white guy yeah. talking as lebron james and it sounded something like this hey people what can we do and i'm like yo and it's lebron <laughs> and it's lebron james <laughs> LeBron James, <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I, 
And then six foot nine, two hundred and ninety pounds or whatever. Pass me the yeah. ball. <laughs> yeah, and and they always say, oh, we're you know we're trying to get like uh, black people to to do it, you know, to play uh, black characters because you have a different voice, and you know uh, when a white guy does it, it doesn't sound right. Yeah. But then a black guy walks into the studio and he starts talking in Czech. As a black guy, and they're like, "No, you're not speaking right." Fuck, do you mean right? Ah, you were, you ah, I remember you were there. In yeah, the, I was there too. I was there too. And they, uh, they told uh, you that. And you're obviously, not speaking right? And obviously, uh, what does I, that I was, mean? I was I was cool with it. I was cool with it. Like it's normal that you know you, for example, when you speak, you you, you tend to skip some letters and everything. It's yeah. it's normal. It's normal. But that can be taught, honestly. But then, you know, they were telling me that maybe I'm pronouncing D and B different. But then when they listen to it, I actually pronounce it extremely correctly. And they're like, it just sounds different. I'm like, uh, that was the point. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. I mean. That's and, and then there were uh, there was this young girl that was there and she had the same opinion as me and she was like you know every time a black guy comes in here they're always like they they don't know how to speak they speak differently than us I'm like that's the whole point she's like I know like that's just what it is and you you know you had some famous singers that were in that studio and they told them the same thing black singers in the Czech Republic or Slovakia and. Everybody, they just told them they don't know how to speak. And it's people that actually speak for a living. Yep. I'm like, how is, how is that possible? See? And I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. I'm not trying to be salty over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm just saying it will get so much better if they actually, uh, you know, there's still some bar barriers that need to be taken down. Cause, mm. uh, oh, you think they're gatekeeping? Yes, a little bit. You need, they need more young people on the job. Yes, because because, because uh, they are. Yeah, they're still in that. You know, uh, of course, like a a a Czech person that's just born here and everything, he will speak a little bit different. But yeah. when you're black, you you honestly you do speak a little little bit different. And uh, you know that was even the politician, he spoke a little bit differently. He was there. Same thing. Uh, oh. Was he speaking wrong or bad? No. Hmm. Which politician? Yeah. Ferry. Dominic Ferry. Yeah. Oh. Uh, uh, ben Cristoval. Yeah. Same thing. Hmm. Everybody. Oh, ben Cristoval has a very distinct yes, yes. Uh, voice and intonation. He, he, But yeah. even his speaks, accent. He speaks yes. very different. Ben Cristoval speaks, he speaks very different. Di very different. Yeah. But it can be used, honestly. Yeah, it can. But dude, Ferry was v correct. I yeah, know. like I know, but still, doesn't sound right. I'm like, well, uh, yeah, yeah. So, because the the skin tone speaks more loudly than the words they're actually saying to those people. No, no, I'm not trying to say that. I, I don't think that. I don't. I, I don't think that is the issue. So, I what just, do you think is the reason? I, I think the reason is uh, there's still it's new. It's so new to them still, like the voice, because they're used to uh, white voice actors and the way they speak. Because, uh, you know, black people, for example, we have uh, lips, bigger nice. lips. Yeah. So you tend to speak a little bit differently. Yeah, of course. Than people with no lips. That's just what it is. Like, it's, it, that, is, that is actually true. <laughs> I know, but he was turning his head as if, you know. I don't know. I speak very loudly. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> yeah, that is actually true. But let's move on. Right. Let's move on anyways. Have you watched the NBA trade deadline right now? Yeah. I've watched some very, crazy shit happening in the last two very, days. Yes, very wow. crazy. You know what I uh, w you know what was uh the most sad thing? It's like when they trade when uh the Lakers did the three way trade where they got um uh, D'Angelo Russell traded away Westbrook, which was yeah. good for the Lakers. There was Pat Beverly that tweeted uh, that yeah. 
he he tweet, he tweeted the gang is back together saying like okay like gang gang uh, gang yes re, uh, he's reuniting with Pat Bev sorry he's reuniting with uh, Adilo yeah and uh, two hours later he got Excuse traded yeah, yeah 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 you can you can ne never tweet shit yeah yep. and he and so not aged like and he, milk and he even tweeted oh watch you're 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 working you're giving Shams problems yep mm -hmm. and then next post from Baj he was like yeah, yeah, yeah. Pop Beverly traded to the Orlando Magic I'm bro. like damn bro but they, <laughs> but they were moving people who, who they just traded wait Not, it was well they it, moved Kyrie Kyrie to to the Mavs bro, and KD to KD. the Suns but going yeah. from the Lakers to Orlando Magic it's tough, wild bro. that's I mean, wild I, I mean or, Orlando I think Orlando's pretty cool like a pretty cool place to live. yeah 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 but but he you can know, he just, can he can go to a uh, thing Disney Park yeah <laughs> yeah dude the, and I, I believe Cancun's pretty close yo but wait but back to John Moran remember how he was saying he's good in the West yep yep look at yo, you now ja, boy you good in the West now I don't know bro we got, we got Kyrie and Luca Damn. and then the Suns are looking pretty beastie I'm not Stacky. gonna lie mm -hmm. CP3 D yeah Buck, that's KD. An that's another that's another interview that age and they have know. a good center in Nathan yep Start, but I think even the Brooklyn Nets are not actually uh, they're not bad. They're they not, have they have a lot of time but, but it's not it's not they, they won't contend. Yeah. Mm. But it's a good team. Very talented. I wouldn't say they're bad. I'd say like eight seed ish. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Honestly, we'll see. Like I think I think I think that right now they became the underdogs. Yep. And nobody will expect it, but it's a good team. No, and and their yeah, they have a lot of uh, and and the good thing pieces. about the thing about underdogs is their mentality change when they achieve the underdog status. Yeah, somehow they just get like more hungrier. Yeah, more aggressive and yeah. everything. Like, yeah. I think the Brooklyn Nets are gonna be just fine. We'll see. I think, and the Lakers, I don't know. Dude. I have this feeling that right now, when LeBron broke the the record. Nothing is he's holding. Go, he, he, he's just gonna get comfortable right now. Yeah, he'll just be like, uh, he's just playing nothing to play. To now, now he's just waiting for Brownie. For Brownie, yeah. yeah that's and I get it. I get it. Yeah. Honestly, I get it. At this point, I mean, he's already a billionaire. Yeah, it's like, dude, and I did thing, everything. The, the thing is, I don't really see anybody like surpassing him mm, on honest, the scoring list. Honestly, Luke, uh, Luca has a chance, but. I mean, well, do I you mean, think Luca? Luca, Luca has a realistic chance yeah, to do but it. Still. He's on the pace. If if, if he, it's hard, yes. Yeah. But if he played at this same level like LeBron did till he's like 38, he can surpass him. Mm. Very, very uh, I don't know. Uh, I, that yeah. is because uh, see, Luca is European, mm. and you know how Europeans get when they grow older. From they get bloaty. They just and, and Luca, it's not a secret. Luca is not he's, eating salads, bro. Nah, fam, he looks like it too. Yeah, and uh, he's uh, he's chunky. He's, yeah, he's and, on the chunky and, side, and he's living fine. And I don't blame him. Good for him. Of Bless course, him. He's eating I like good. The boy. But even yes. for the way he looks, he's like really mobile and everything. He, he like ever since he got into Texas, he really started looking like a Texan. Oh yeah. yeah, dude! Yeah. It's all steakhouses out there. Yeah, barbecue. Yeah, so like, uh, I don't, I don't think he'll last that He'd long. Be eating good on that on on this level. Yeah, I mean the the physicality is different because LeBron at his age, the way he takes care of him and everything, yeah. that allowed him to play so long. And he and, and and also like I mean LeBron didn't really have any like major injuries. No, which is but luck. luck. So but, that is but, luck but, uh, as well. As and luck. that's that's what allowed him to actually get to this point. Luca will have at least two rings. Yeah, very probably. At least uh, two. Yeah, I think so. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, that is yet but to be seen. But by the way, uh, just a recommendation. There's a new document on uh, Bill Russell. On oh, it's on Netflix. Very good. Word. Yeah, very good, very good. Oh, they by the way, Netflix canceled the fucking uh, the subscription type the subscription yeah. the the restriction. You survived once again. Yes, I know, dude. He's adapting. Yo, you're like the you're like a fucking on the Last of Us. How there's the the fungi. 
you know how it's controlling people and everything uh -huh. the parasite you you're like that you're adapting to the yeah to to the world did you just call me a cockroach what was the fucking mandarin yes. word tai chan no zalang 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 see i'm the only one that remembers that you called me racist Ching Ching Chi Chang. Chi Chang. Mm. Okay, let's it stop sounds this. Cool. What? Let's, let's stop this. I'm just appreciating the culture. I'm trying to learn, man. I'm trying to <laughs> learn Mandarin. <laughs> Do you think uh, the future of Czech Republic and, you know, of, you know, the, even different countries, do you think the future will be that you know you get booked as a podcast to come to a club and uh perform there do you think that's the future or that's the possible future i mean it it it, it can be one of the options for sure i i honestly did not think this was a possibility honestly until until, until, until like two two days ago when we got that uh offer yeah but po the podcasting is slowly like earning earning the place on the pedestal with like really like singing and performing yeah i mean the concept is becoming the same like tours i mean bookings shows yeah shows yeah live events yeah so i mean i mean i mean why wouldn't it it does make sense and it does make sense and now that we that we saw the the offer it does make sense and it sounds actually pretty pretty fun it does you know so so we'll see it it can be an option but i think the the mainstream mainstream way of like podcasting will still be there you know as will as, still be there as a what you mean well i mean stream streaming services and everything oh you know, yeah it, it will course. basically be of course th this this is one of the extended options on how to actually be podcasting live shows and everything because but they but they already it was already being done in in US like 85 South show they actually do something similar but they sell out theaters because of they're course. stand up comics yeah so they basically they they were still when they were booking them for these theaters and these venues they they were still a podcast but it was really a live show it wasn't a live podcast and they were like moving on the stage and like really 90% of it interacting with the people and with the crowd and everything but it was already being quote unquote done in the US but it does make sense in my opinion for sure booking booking podcasts for shows makes sense which is pretty cool but uh we'll see how they'll do it about like the the price you know cuz uh mm. it it has to be difficult if you're for example you know the promoter and everything and uh, you have this boss and you're like yo there's this new thing that we can do live podcasts mm. and for example the podcast is like okay it's a pretty big podcast so they ask for some money and the money is uh let's say two times three times more expensive than if you book an artist mm. to the club owner it has to be like ah, i don't know about that yeah but it's also like okay if you book an artist like uh the whole like uh this is a similar thing to what we talked about when uh um pricing uh, the pricing of uh companies when it comes to influencers and podcast mm -hmm. advertisement yeah like it's a very new thing so I, I i can imagine that it's really hard for them to like put a pri put a correct price on it because like True. as i said like yes okay uh we might we as a group we might ha want like more money than uh an individual artist would want but there's also this one thing that we're we're like we're like three people and we'll uh like a uh our quote-unquote performance is much longer than what a what a what artist, artist could do yeah could do right so we're sure. we're like keeping the attention of our audience for like an extended period of time not just like uh 20 th minutes. 30 minutes 20 minutes yeah that these artists are usually booked for that is true exactly cuz uh, yeah. even even when they booked us or they're trying to book us they already said 
we're talking about an hour and a half, two hours. I'm like, mm. it does make sense that it's going to be more expensive because, yeah, as you as you just explained. Mm. Yeah. So, but that might be the future actually, and I, uh, it does make sense. That yeah. It's 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 similar, and uh, it it might be the way as well. Mm. But wouldn't be wouldn't it be cool when you know we're talking to all these artists and everything, and you know they're talking bookings and everything we're like oh we have these bookings too you know so uh, uh <laughs> oh, yeah how imagine like i'd be like how the tables like, turn like, like, so, like i can in, relate but imagine in like i don't know years we're like yo they just booked us for the o2 arena and God you know damn. we just we just sold 40 percent of the fucking tickets in the first eight hours and everything uh, uh, F- bro damn i mean bro. Any, anything is possible my guys at this point because yeah. like, uh, uh, like especially especially here in czech republic uh the, the potential the, is uh, the potential is limitless and the podcasting scene is still new and fresh and evolving mm. true that so uh you never know even but dude but I, it's funny like, two weeks ago i was just i was just talking about this i'm like the funny thing is that we don't even know what the potential of podcasting here in the Czech Republic and Slovakia is. Like, where where does it stop? We we well, haven't seen anything because right yeah. now we can probably say we most we're, definitely we top three in the Czech Republic for sure. Well, and like how I watch the statistics, I know what I'm talking about. But where's the roof? Where 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 does it stop? We're, we're, we're in the bronze ages of podcasting we passed the stone age yeah when the bro- possibly we'll, we'll we'll soon get into the middle ages but we're still not on the top of the top where it could be because uh also uh realized like for example rap music where rap music was uh, in the early stages yeah it's nowhere near where it's uh, where what it's like now mm. especially like here in czech republic yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah for example for example like i don't know 10 years ago they were barely making enough money to make a living mm. yeah they had jobs and today the top rappers are millionaires are riding mercedes and shit. yeah yeah they're making millions true nowadays buying houses blah 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 10 years ago they were barely broke they were broke yeah the people knew them kind yeah. of yeah but today down different levels and they also ballgame. spread it like into into the world wide waters yeah. and everything collaboration with the spain artists poland like polish artists and all that so yeah that's dope yeah that's how it's supposed to be because but even like like poland they have artists that are actually like not known at all here but they have millions of followers like yep like here millions of followers is rare yeah very rare that's just there's only about like probably like two people who who have over a million who have or had over a million followers here in Czech well then it was fucking Leo Smarish and Ferry. there was Ferry. Yeah, and, and, and Schultzova is close. Schultzova uh, has a million. She's yeah, close. Close. 900K. Yeah, but there's still not a million. Yeah, not many of them, though. Not many of them. Yep. Yeah, but the next topic is cute aggression. Yeah, yeah. Cute, cute aggression. I was. Do you know what cute aggression is? No, what is that? It's. Look, I had no idea about this phenomenon. It's when people. Uh, you, you you probably experienced this how people see something cute like a baby or a kitten or something and they go and they're <laughs> yeah no and they go crazy and they're like i would eat you and they're saying like i would sco- i would i would mush you and like i would just crush you by hugging you and everything so they're basically reacting in it, it seems almost as like bad manner as almost like a negative they're showing negative emotions but caused by the, the complete opposite. And, like, that's why girls just out of nowhere, like, bite guys and shit. They're hurting guys. That's why some girls, when they had, like, uh, dolls and they rip out their, like, heads and shit. Why do they do that? But Intrusive thoughts. I guess so. Yeah. But, but I, ju- I, them win. I just learned about this phenomenon. How, how, because girls, they, like, I don't know, slap guys and shit, like, hard. Like hurting them and bite them for no reason and shit. 
and I found out that they do it because of this phenomenon called cute aggression. You got some freaks, huh? Mm, you met a demon. No, no, no. I was talking to my no, friends, and and they to told friends. me this information. I swear. So you're to God. asking for a friend? I'm not asking. I'm sharing information from my friends with you, and the audience. Mm -hmm. mm. This is a campaign. This is a conspiracy against me, of course. What? <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 The, but the, but it's just it's just wild that people actually, and and I've heard this many times that like human beings are these creatures based on or like fixated on uh, paradoxes and everything. And this is this is just one of them. Like you see something like people cry when they're happy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. True. Like these, I, I've never experienced that. Honestly. Crying when you're happy. Oh, actually, no, no, no. once, I, I, once. I, 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 crying out of laughter. You have not experienced that. Yeah, I did. Yeah, that's did. one of them. Mostly. It's it's like dim dimorphous expression that you're basically showing both like good and bad emotions at the same time. You're crazy. You're essentially crazy. You might be. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But that's just what I wanted to share because I just I just found out this info and it's crazy to me. It, it it does sound a little bit weird, but I guess and people really do it. Like I was thinking, they do. They do they, I was definitely. thinking about like the situations where I show, like when I'm in these like situations, and this this might not work on uh, on on him though. He hates kids. Yeah, I don't like kids. But is there something that you find cute? When it's uh, I, also, I only like kids yeah. that are, are um for my family usually or very mm. kind of close i see otherwise i don't when i see a random kid i'm like that's nasty dog the fuck off me yeah like <laughs> oh cute baby i'm like i don't like that, your that, baby that's that's messed up yo why is it messed no, up but one i don't thing, like i don't like foreign babies i gotta be oh, honest one like thing you. that is not cute is newborns no, yeah, it's that, ugly, bro. Bones are I'm not. sorry, but that's just they go there and they're like, "Oh my god!" I'm like, "No," and they say, "Oh, he looks just like daddy." I'm like, "Bitch, he looks mm -hmm. like me." What are you talking about, yo? If 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 I had a kid and the kid was just born, and he's covered in the placenta and you know blood and everything, and somebody's like, "You have to oh. hold it," you have to hold him though. Nah. Yeah. I mean, nah. I mean, it's yeah. probably different. It's your kid, right? It's I mean, your kid. It's your, you have to hold. Kid. You have to. You have to hold it, bro. Yeah. I think it would. No, nah, I find it disrespectful. <laughs> when he, disrespectful? Yeah. No, this Towards is, the kid? No, when, when he's. Disrespectful to hold your son? No, no. <laughs> look, when his head is still like mushed up from being pushed. Bro, at least you weren't the one doing the pushing. <laughs> I know. You just they, have to hold it for. No, I'm not saying the for, holding. But for the, a minute. But the he's cute. He looks just like you type of thing. Yeah, he yeah, looks yeah. nothing like him. G give him, give him. <laughs> he, he, <laughs> Mine's like I, I want a DNA no, test. No, Man's just, like, just Man's give like, him. A, he don't. He don't look like me. He's in uh, default right now. Yeah, but yeah, <laughs> he doesn't look like me yet. Just give him a few days to like fully yeah. inflate and everything. Like, form a face. <laughs> yeah, just just go back to the human form. Like he. he yeah, he's kind of. He went through a lot, like oh, a lot. Mo yeah, like, honestly, he did go through a lot. A punani. Yep. So you know, I don't. I've I've seen some. I, I actually. You know, do you know that sometimes, like when when women give birth, they they actually shit themselves. Oh, one hundred. Oh, dude, uh, shit. Uh, 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 they shotgun uh, that yeah. thing. Yep. I did not know. You didn't know. I didn't know. I I found out there's this one girl that told me. I was like, why did you tell me this information? <laughs> She's like, that's how you know. So like they have like scrapers and shit ready. Of there. course, of course. That's why. Yeah. That's why the. That's why the men, oftentimes don't want to be. There. Yeah, because then they don't see her the same. Yeah, but also yeah. But, they but can. Appa mean apparently, there's training. But yes, and I will How go. How do they train for, you? For first this? of all, just throw shit at you, and I don't know. For, first of all, you, you can go, but I think <laughs> I think you can hide behind the curtain, and you're just there. <laughs> by her head and you don't even watch the that's true that's you true. watch it from yes. the other side yes. yes that would be me because i might pass out and then they they will need to take care of me too and uh i don't there's some things that i just don't want to see no i mean yeah i, I just don't want to see it yeah and i don't i don't really want to be passed the fuck out yeah you know while the Doctors are walking around and I'm just in there like, oh, oh, my God. oh, oh my God. I'm going to be somewhere 
No, 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 no. I'm not gonna. No, no. Yeah, no. We, whatever. Let's, yeah, but yeah. but like, but the, there's some guys that are not even there. They're not even in the hospital. No, they're in, at but the bar. They, but at the bar or at home, sometimes I like this. I've I've heard about this guy who was like. He was like, yeah, when you're doing it, just call me, live stream me. So he had like a live On stream. On FaceTime? He, has a, he had his FaceTime, but he was like playing Call of Duty. God damn. <laughs> God damn. Yo, yo. <laughs> do you think some people, like some content creators, <laughs> actually... They start vlogging? If it? they vlogged it? For sure. Do you think we will be vlogging it? No. No. <laughs> I don't know about you. I, I'm not like, that comfortable. Like, like, look, you can do whatever you want, whatever you you know. You dude, and I mean, I mean your my wife kids. is gonna be at the at the table, and I'm just with the flash on. I'm just gonna be like, yo, how you feel? Yo, guys, <laughs> like and subscribe. There's my kid being born right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Send, send, What's send, up? Send some, send some donations. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's messed up, bro. Damn, bro. I'd probably watch the live stream the whole time. I'd be <laughs> doing this. I'm Shit. judging you. Ruthless. I am judging. He's like, you. we need to, we need to buy some diapers. So send some yeah. donations my <laughs> yeah. way. And, and what, what you'll be saying is, "Shit ain't sweet around here. Shit ain't sweet, dude. Shit is not sweet." And I, I would, I would set the, I would set the donation sound yeah. to the. To and the, fuck the them kids. In the, in the com in the comments, write down baby names. We still haven't decided. Damn. Oh my god. Damn, bro. <laughs> oh my god. Ew. Okay. Okay. Moving. Does having money mean that you're into independent? Hmm? Yeah, that's a question that I actually put there because, like, I've been watching. Like, there's, there's, there's been this notion, especially around like young women, that just think that the fact that you, that that you, uh, they they have this mindset that the more money you have the more independent you have and i actually don't really think that's the case because at the end of the day you'll always need somebody for something you in this world in this you know what's funny just uh yesterday uh i had a meeting over here and it was with this lady I kn i've known her for quite a while and uh you know she makes quite good money and uh she looks like it yeah she she's pretty well known around prague as a stylist and uh we just talked and everything and she was like you know i need uh, you know that she needs something constructed in her uh, in her house and she was like yeah but i called the dude to set it up and he was like i, I got time in four months and i'm like who's gonna do it then because sure ain't gonna be me that's a man's job that's what she said and I'm just like, yep, see, see, it is true. They don't want to do it. Yeah, they, they don't, don't want to do it. She could do it. It's not hard. She just doesn't want to do it. Yep. Is my point. So mm. like, cause, cause like, look, being independent, like you, you, you like, for example, if I, if I have a girl that I know can cook. Trust me, most of the time I will not cook because I know she can. But look, like it what, is what it is. What I what I find quite baffling is like when guys look, when us guys we make more money but or a lot of money, we don't go in saying uh, I'm suddenly independent of women and I don't need them in my life anymore. But they do. Why? What the heck? <laughs> well, you know why. Yeah, it, it does not make sense to me because, like, guys go like, "Oh, now I have more money. Now I can. I now I can actually afford to have a girlfriend." Yep. Oh, yeah, 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 <laughs> yep. yeah, right. yeah. Now I can actually afford to have a family, so I can start looking for that. Mm. True. My girls go, "Oh, I have money now. I don't need you guys. Bye." What? <laughs> That is true. Facts. That is true. When you broke, like what? Because <laughs> even even today, like how does that make any sense? Yeah, I I will, I was just saying like, I, I, it's not to say that you know women uh, that come into your life are only about money, 
But if you don't have money, she will not stay too long, is what I'm saying. Honestly speaking. Yep. Like, because, and uh, yes, it is not about money, but if you don't have money, you can't go anywhere nowadays. You can't do shit. Mm. You're just at home, blah, 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 no action, nothing. So, how long will she stay if you're not moving? She'll leave. That's just what it is, and it's yeah, obvious. And, and until the it relationship does. is not serious. Exactly. Enough, so, like, you know, more money just, the, like, would you would you guys agree that more money does not mean independence? In, the, mean, in this perspective, yes. Like, yes, you could do, you can do more things but what with the money. I think, but at the same time, what I think they're trying to say is that... Um, you know, if they make money, they're not dependent financially on the man that they're with. And they have the ability to leave the relationship if they don't feel happy. Yeah, because they can it's, afford the stuff that he's yeah, doing like, with money. But, like, I, but like, I, I'm like, okay, well, that's true. I think, every, I, I think everybody should have, like, their own money to support themselves. You know, you know what that's, I think? I, I think it, having more money gives them... A choice mm -hmm. gives them more choices, mm -hmm. but it does not make you independent. Yep, that that's what I would say. I think there should be a baseline where okay, you should make enough money to support yourself at all times. That's just being an adult. Yep. Amen. That's just uh, point A. True. Point 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 B is uh, like uh, go like. I don't think it's the right mindset to go into a relationship uh, with the fact that with the fact that uh, what if uh, what if we're we'll separate? Will I be good? If you have these thoughts, that means you shouldn't. I, I don't think you should go into a relationship because obviously you're probably not stable somewhere. Either financially or mentally, you're just not stable you, because you go into the relationship thinking, oh, I can't be dependent. Uh, what if this happens? What if that happens? Blah, mm. blah, 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 blah. Exactly. Like, you should be good by yourself. Mm. That's it. Yeah, first of all, you should that, be good by... That, 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 is a, that, that last take you did right there is very underrated. Uh. You better be good with yourself first mm -hmm. before you walk into a relationship with somebody else mm -hmm. like you it's not about you needing the person it's about you wanting the person yeah yeah i mean and and, and the foundation of your relationship should be even financially it should be stable yeah, and and it should be yes if you get go into a relationship with someone it it should be a benefit on both sides yeah so it's not like it, i would like I don't know why they call this dependency, but the fact that your guy does stuff for you and you and you rely on him to do this stuff for you hmm. does not mean that like like yes, it does mean that you're dependent for him, uh, but it doesn't. But but it shouldn't mean that you shouldn't uh, that you're not able to do those things yourself. But you know that he's capable of doing it better than you yeah as, it's, it's as his role as she is capable of doing some stuff better for you. than him yeah, exactly of course it's a it's it's a coexistence yes. it's like for for both codependence yeah, yeah it's codependent kind of because guys are dependent they're like guys are dependent uh, on girls to do certain things in the relationship and we never uh, even like question that Mm. You know, I, I'm quite like I don't like the way like people are like are, are like questioning whether or not like uh, uh, I, I'm saying that being dependent on someone in a relationship is a bad thing. I'm not even I'm not I, I don't uh, I I'm not even surprised that relationships don't work anymore if you're too scared to trust someone. Yeah, yeah, but the the fair point is that the word dependent is kind of. It's off. It doesn't make sense. It, it it is off because then the word the word and the situation is scrutinized very much because you're dependent, so you obviously cannot do it yourself. But I think you should be just filling in the blanks in the relationship. Yeah. To to the other person. 
it's not really a dependency. Ah, in a way, like, like, look, like, uh, I think also inevitably, if you, you and the girl, the hypothetical girl, mm. uh, have a family, and you're at work, uh, you're, for example, at work for 12 hours, mm -hmm. and you got kids, you're dependent on her to take care of them. Or make food of them. Yeah, it's a dependency. You really well, need her. Well, in that case, or yes. Like, because it is essential that it's... Or, or like they're going to die. Yeah, yeah. But that that is a life and death question. Yeah, like... It's, you know, nailing a painting isn't... Yeah, like, at, at first, I, like, when you, when it's, like, not that serious, for, like, at first you're not really dependent, but as time goes... Yeah, you grow dependent on each you, other. You'll just grow dependent on each other because, yeah. like... For example, for example, uh, you have the means. You 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 are uh, you're maybe very successful, blah blah blah. You're very successful, and she wants a family uh, with you, so she she's uh, depending on you to provide to provide to. She's depending on you to get a, to get a house, yeah. because you're the guy who has the means. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like it's. I don't know. It's just I. I don't see. I don't see why it's so wrong to depend on someone. Like, for certain, like you should trust. You should. You should trust them after a while, with your life, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> like you should trust them. But that's a fair point. It is. But then it's trust. Is it? I just don't feel the word dependency. But I mean, it is true in in these like, in these later stages, like family is very yes dependent. Like like, look, is your mom depending on your dad to be there for her? Is your dad depending on your mom to be there for him? They are. What true. if he's sick? Yo, yeah. True. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 It is dependent, but those are those are the late stages, of course. Yeah. yeah, but even like before, like who's taking care of you? If you, I mean, I mean, yeah, you are dependent because even even let's say if we use that example that you just said, and you're just early stage, let's say you're in a relationship mm -hmm. and uh, with your girl and whatever, you break your legs, for example, and uh, you know. In a way, you'd be dependent on her to kind of try to help you a little bit here and there. Yep. Like, yeah, because you won't have the abil ability to walk, but you still, you know, you want to do some things with her or whatever, and you'll be dependent on her, you know, kind of taking care of, care of you. And if she doesn't, mm. well, that's the wrong girl, my guy. Mm. So yes, you are always kind of Yo, dependent. If she declines helping me when my legs are broken. That's it. Yep. That's it. God damn, you cold. Yeah. Ass. Or, or like, or like, oh. imagine like she breaks her leg, and you want to help her, and she goes, oh, "I don't want to depend on you." Well, then, like, uh, why are we in a, well, why like we why are we in a relationship then? Yeah. Like why? Yeah. Or like, she's struggling to I don't know do something. Uh, as you said, she, uh, as your friend needed something to do something in her house, if she had a boy, if she had a boyfriend, she'd tell him. She'd tell him, and she'd be depending on uh, depending on him to do it. Yeah. So yeah, dependency is actually a, like yeah, that's what it is. Like mm. yeah, mm. yeah, simple as that. Like, what I, else we got? Topicos. Arguing with idiots is painful. That sounds fun. <laughs> yeah, you, you're I, about to go on your Twitter rant, in it? No, 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 not Twitter rant. Not this. Even time. even though there's even though there's many idiots on Twitter. Oh, preach! There's many many idiots on Twitter, but like uh, when uh, sometimes looking at the comments that we receive or hate hate tweets comments whatever. That we receive, I'm like, I just look at these people. I just look at their profile picture, and you know, sometimes you just look at that, and you you you, you just, just know. know, you just know that they're <laughs> idiots. And you just then <laughs> I know, but it's just yeah. funny. 
Then you just read the comment and you just not yes, you just confirmed you're an idiot. Okay. I had a suspicion, <laughs> but you confirmed it for me. Yeah. You just confirmed. It's simple as that. You, you just mm-hmm. confirmed they're they're an idiot. And I was like thinking like and even even uh with the uh idiot that's harassing you right now, I'm like Oh right. Oh yeah. I'm like Bro, like, there's no, there's really no point in arguing with these people because, like, first of all, you'll never win an argument with them, and second of all, the only thing it will do for you if you argue with them is that you'll have a headache and you you yourself will get pissed off because, like, none of what they're saying is making any sense. Yeah, I mean, arguing with idiots, it is hard, but it is pointless. Yeah. Yeah. Because usually exactly usually if you if you're trying if you're having an argument it should be for the better like uh i'm either trying to better you or resolve Uh something that we have between us that is not right yep and uh we're trying to find a solution to the problem common ground yeah common ground find find common ground yeah and with idiots it's just it's just because like when it's just someone trying to attack you it's yeah. you, you, you just at, at, at the same time like it 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 doesn't always have to be that they're idiots but you know it's this type of people that just they um you have this type of people that just want to win the argument by any means yep which and, is and uh, like and when you argue with a them, lot of patience and, man. and when you argue argue with them and use logic it's not working because no. they just uh they just work outside of logic. Yeah, and they're and also yeah. these people are just not open to changing their own opinion on stuff. So they yeah. so they deny you, everything you, that you say because with, in th- their head it's their truth. I think uh, with these type of people, you just gotta, um, you know, of course, don't play their game. Don't do that because uh, if you play their game, you lose automatically. But usually, these type of people are very. Uh, verbally aggressive yep don't 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 play that game just don't 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 get into that when they get verbally aggressive just calm down for a minute wait a minute and then continue your point because usually when they get aggressive you just wait you just wait just you don't even have to say anything just let them Mm. they'll calm down and then you go again you continue your point there's, there's one. Y- there's no point in listening to the part where they're aggressive about it. It makes no sense. That's true. There's one particular. There's one particular uh, thing that I've noticed uh, uh, with, uh, especially like arguments on the internet. What's What's funny about like the arguments on the internet is that you see just two people arguing on the internet could be anyone you someone else whatever you see two people arguing on the internet in the comments for example but what's weird about it is like at the end of the argument internet argument the fact that you because you don't see like a uh, general public uh, reaction or other people's opinion on the argument Bo- yeah. at the end of that argument both sides think that they won yeah even like for example the idiot and the one who's uh quote of quote quote unquote the smarter one both of them think that they won the argument on the internet so like mm. there's just no point i just find it kind of funny because there are no referees yeah to- you know. So they just go back and forth, back and forth, and then at the end of the day, both when they're both tired, they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and they sure. they go off of the likes that they get on the comments. Yeah, you know that, that's, that's fueling. Yeah, and that's kind of crazy. And also the likes are also very biased because like depending on what you what uh, you think about the person that's being hated on, you like you you even though even if the opposition is in the wrong you like the you like the opposition because you also don't like the yeah. you also don't like that person that 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 person you hate is hating on so it's not it's not objective mm. at all <laughs> yeah it makes no sense <laughs> i don't know man twitter rants 
Twitter when I don't like the fucking app, man. You don't you still don't like it? No. It, it's very toxic. I, I like it from times to times. I'm just I, I'm just curious what Elon is going to do with it. He should resign. That's no, why he, he should do he, with it. He just started the program with the Twitter Blue. Something. Yeah, he should resign. Mm. He's gonna he's gonna change it completely and then he's gonna dip. I think. But but, but maybe it'll be successful. I don't know, because because they started creating ad revenues and you know the people that subscribe to the to the blue check something. I don't know, the Twitter Blue it's called. They need to have an Instagram Blue. And, oh yeah but they get the ad revenue from the ads shown and shit so yeah 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 that was probably it man oh you still want to go mm. do we have anything else oh, I could find how was y'all's day <laughs> <laughs> it it barely started true yeah i mean yeah, we're i in. just uh yeah ah this is the start of my day i just ate food and came here Mm. Honestly, like mm. y'all went to the gym in the morning though. Yeah, not me though. Nah, those two. Yeah, but that is still like they're trying to get big for summer. Yes, you should. Iki's mm. been getting bigger. Have you noticed? No. <laughs> <laughs> you a hater though. Nah. <laughs> nah, me, I, I thought about it. Then I was like, I know. But 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 it, but the thing the thing was with that is. Uh, you know, after I stopped playing basketball, I just wanted uh, mental rest for a minute. Mm. And now I started working out because um, I felt like, you know, when you're used to having these extremely tough workouts, one one hour and a half in in the weight room and then two hours and a half basketball and then you got, you, you got uh, rehab and everything. Yeah. So you're there basically for like, what, five, six hours per day. You, you kind of get used to that mentally, and right now when I go uh, when I go to the gym, and I'm there for I don't know two hours, it it becomes so easy. Like okay, like lifting weights is tough, of course it's heavy, but it's like mentally I'm still like, mm. I I can go, I can, like, go I can more, still yeah. go. Like it's not like even when I stop, I know I'm feeling sore as hell, mm. but I'm still like. No, but you gotta mm. like the soreness. I mean, yeah, in a way, you know. Of course, like I'm used to it. It's Fuck, just fucking walking down the stairs after squatting and you know hamstrings and everything, yeah, and your yeah. legs are shaking. You yeah. squat? Yeah. You got I, I got these pretty ass legs. Yeah, your leg. Yeah, but your legs were always big, though. No, my calves were always big. I had huge ass calves from jumping and, and all that. It's not from jumping. It's not from jumping. Where are, where are big ass calves from then? It's natural. It, it, yours are natural, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, he yeah. thought about it. He was like, is this a this or will no, I take it? Then no, he's like, no, it's what it is. I'll it. just convince myself it's a compliment. Yeah. I'll roll with it. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I saw it. I, I saw you actively thinking <laughs> oh, yeah. about it. Yeah, I looked You're at like, the calves. I was like, whatever. Just, just leave it. <laughs> leave yeah. it. Yeah. But let's end it here. All right. This is the seventh episode of Gunpoint International. Number seven. Yes, sir. Yep. Like, subscribe, and, and see you next time. See ya. Peace Deuces. out. Peace.